This is the Infinis Hot 10 and today we are tearing it down the way Nigerians want the government to tear down SARS. The version with me here has 64 gig internal storage. It also comes with 6.78 inch display, a massive 5200 mAh battery. The talking point is the MediaTek Helio G70 chipset used in the phone. There is also an 8 megapixel selfie camera, 16 megapixel quadra camera, and you also have the speaker, charging port, headphone jack, and mouthpiece at the bottom of the device. There is also a rear mounted fingerprint sensor. The MediaTek Helio G70 is a gaming chip, but let's see if it gets heated up quickly. One quick fact, of the four cameras placed at the back, only the 16 megapixel main camera actually captures anything. Covering the lenses with my finger, you will notice only the main camera works. With that said, this is Techran, and here we talk less about outward beauty and focus on what is inside. So let's get started. After turning off the phone, I popped out the SIM card tray. The device has a plastic bag which is wrapped and kind of clipped around the phone. But some fuel gum was used, hence I tried to make opening the bag easier by applying very little heat. Then I used my tools to find an opening. Once I got the first opening, I just had to keep going. And gradually, the wrapped plastic bag started coming off very easily. First look at the inside shows no flexible is connecting the back to the main phone. But this is where the phone actually begins. You should hit the subscribe button now as we move to the more interesting part of this teardown video. This is just the opening. Nigerians want SARS turned down some more. But let's show you some things here. You can see the big 5200 battery at the top is a camera module, fingerprint sensor, and below that black cover is the G70 chipset. We'll get a better look soon. Hang around to see what the inside looks like. The back cover has lots of legs. They are meant to aid network connectivity and provide support for the mouthpiece. The speaker has a filter, which helps prevent doors from getting inside. This is a really small but important detail but there is no water resistance here anywhere so the device is no water resistant you can also see more of the flex at the top of the plastic bag this means without the back cover some features of the phone will struggle to work you might experience weaker network signals it's time to get inside the phone holding the phone together is some 18 screws after removing the screws the plastic coverings cannot come off. The speaker is situated at the bottom, embedded inside the plastic covering. Since I'm not destroying the phone, I won't be taking it out. Other things at the bottom include USB charging ports, headphone jack, small motherboard that connects all the way to the main motherboard at the top. One quick note, the rated capacity of the battery is 5,100 mAh which means you are getting 5,100 mAh battery with a typical label of 5,200 mAh. Just need to point that out. Guess there is so much you can find out from inside the phone. Somewhere under this plastic cover is the MediaTek Helio G70 gaming chip. Carefully removing the plastic covering shows how the main motherboard actually looks like and the arrangement of the four cameras at the back. Removing the black tape you can see that the Helio G70 chip is covered by a copper tip, but you will need more than a copper tip to cool the chipset when in gaming mood. Let's see what else is cooling the chipset by removing the motherboard. To remove the motherboard means I have to unclip the fingerprint scanner, which was both easy and enjoyable. Just before we get under the motherboard, let's take out the massive battery. The battery is strongly gummed to the phone. Applying some physical forceful pressure, it finally came out. I guess sometimes we need to apply force before people listings. Photos from Lekito Gate, Port Harcourt, 
worry in Nigeria will tell you I know what I'm saying. After removing the battery, you will see the big flexible connecting the bottom board to the main board. This is how information travels from bottom to top and vice versa. It's such an effective communication system. The little flex at the side makes the volume button and power button useful. At this point, I must say the inside arrangement is quite impressive. This is the main 16 megapixel camera. Let's take a closer look at the camera, the front camera and chipset by removing the main motherboard. There are two screws holding the motherboard. This is the 8 megapixel selfie camera. It does its job pretty well. While this is the 16 megapixel main camera, it has no optical image stabilization or electric image stabilization and cannot shoot 4K videos. Now we turn our attention to the chipset. The Helio G70 chip is covered with paste and copper tape. The paste is meant to cool down the processor while the copper tape is meant to absorb heat. It's obvious Infinix does not want this device to be hot from the inside as that would be bad for business. A budget gaming phone with this many paste and copper tape is good. Nice on Infinix. This is what the inside of the Infinix for 10 looks like. And when Nigeria say answers, they want a total teardown and an inside review just like this. If SARS was a tech gadget, trust me, I'd be tearing them down. It's time for me to put the device back together. Hopefully, it still works just fine. Fixing the cameras, replacing the motherboard, connecting the flexible, and clipping back the fingerprint scanner. We now turn our attention to inserting the battery. Bring back the plastic back covers and now we turn our attention to the screws. It's time to bring back the main cover and cover the back of the phone and then we turn it on. And yes, it came on just fine. Everything works fine. You should hit the subscribe button and turn on notification to get my next upload. Give the video a thumbs up and don't forget. This is Techran, and here we talk less about outward beauty and focus on what is inside. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That is where you cash all the fun. I will leave link in the description below. Stay safe and be good. I'll cash you on the next one.